New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Uh, it's Ebro in the morning. You got the beautiful Laura Styles wrestling T. Rosenberg and the kid Dave East with his new album, Paranoia. Yeah, yeah. Paranoia. Avail- Go get it's it. available on Def Jam. Um, is What is this? An album? Uh, no, it's, it's an EP, man. Like, it's not... Honestly, with my debut album, um... I really want to lock in with the producers as far as, like, I want us to all go to the same place and sit together and you really put do, it... like, some yep. real artists. Yeah. Shit. I'm still doing the email thing. I mean, me and No ID was able to lock in, but we didn't use none of the records for Paranoia. But, um, like, I want to get in with Alchemist, um, mm. Salam Remy. Talk. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Just Blaze. There's a few <sighs> classic, legendary dudes that I want to um, see what they on now. You know what I'm saying? 2017, 2018, I want to see what time they on. And just put them together where we can all, um, I could just shoot them ideas out. You know what I mean? I want to get away from the world for a minute. Why, why, first, why classic legendary producers for, for Dave East? Because, you know, people have, uh, here in our in our city have already exalted you as someone who represents our city very well mm-hmm. on an international level. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is just your first EP coming off the Kyrie Chanel mixtape. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you're three albums in mm-hmm. and, you know. I'm new, baby. It's yeah. Still, still, I mean, but, I'm, to my fans, I've, I've been here for a little bit. Yeah. But to, mm-hmm. the, to, the, to the masses, I'm brand new. Yeah, yeah, you, like you really new. just got there right yeah. now. In fact, you could argue that as recently as that, um, the, the soccer week in Miami was sort of your, like, Unveiling as far as being like an A list celebrity, yeah. everyone saw you at all the events. You were in the celebrity yeah. game. You were hanging out with Drake and French and everyone. I ain't had to introduce myself to nobody. Exactly. Well, not to them. So that was and I, exactly. They all knew what time it was yeah. right away. But you know what I'm saying? Those pictures went everywhere, and I think you probably had a lot of people being like, "Oh, who's this guy?" Especially I, ladies. I forgot too. we had that. I forgot we had that day in the park. I'm gonna. We'll talk yeah. about that. I mean, it was a great day. It was a great day in the park. <laughs> Why? What you saying? Like, what's something happened? No, because we were discussing who got busy and who didn't. Who was he, just posing he, and who was it? First of all. <laughs> Great soccer goalie. Come right? on, man. Great soccer goalie. Hey, that was goalie. my first time playing in, <laughs> in life ever. But he, I watched him move between athlete, because, you know, he used to play basketball. Yeah. So he had periods where he was an athlete, <laughs> super competitive. <laughs> then there was a couple of times he was about to make a hustle play, and he was like, yeah, yeah fuck that. I'm a rapper. It's over. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Let me not play he slowed myself. Up. He slowed up. No He's more like, hustle. I moves. think him and Terrell Owens was coming for the ball at the same time. You saw Terrell. He was like... He's still kind of a football player. I'm a rapper now, man. I ain't about to, I ain't trying to um I ain't trying to hurt nothing on me right now. So I, need, did, I need to be performing. Did you notice though, like that a lot of the big time artists who maybe you didn't even have a relationship before were now plainly aware of who you were? Yeah. I, it kind of spun me a little bit because I was like, damn, like I thought I was gonna have to really walk up to certain people and be like, yo, I'm Davies. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you doing? Like, they knew who I was. They, you know what I mean, wanted to make music, wanted to exchange numbers, wanted to just, like, let me know, like, yo, we, we mess with you. You know what I'm saying? So that was dope. Who did you meet for the first time there? Uh, Nikki, um, Drake. Uh, me and French was already cool. So, me and, I mean, I, French was the one that kind of, like... Bring you around? Yeah, like, yo, okay. come over here. Like, yeah, come get yeah. up on this couch over here. Like, but, um... I kind I met Weezy before. It was Mac main birthday, so all of them was there with Drake and Nicki. That was the first time I met them, and they was mad cool. Like, like I knew them forever. It was like super cool. You know what I mean, but that was dope. Yeah, I, th- um, I think I think it's also exciting. Sorry, bro. I think it's just exciting too because you have a guy who has like this look and all this stuff. But importantly, those guys are hip hop fans, and you sound like. Mm-hmm. A real New York rapper, like well, a modern like day. You are, you are, <laughs> right, right. And a modern day version mm-hmm. of what this was. I think all it's was. important today too. While the Paranoia Project's out there, I want to play a couple of records from Dave because I, I do feel like your name and your social media, uh, I guess, uh, fame, mm-hmm. being on Being and Mary Jane and mm-hmm. Women Loving You and all that, is is bigger than the music. I would, I agree with that a hundred percent. So, but there's on this project, yeah. there's music, this real. Yeah, you know I feel like you know what's crazy. Like I feel like that kind of started getting a little overlooked. Like people that's really into hip hop, and like rappers, they was waiting on it. Like y'all want to hear your new, you know what I'm saying? But like I feel like the rest of the world be like, oh, is his daughter so cute? Like they just be more caught up in right. me beyond the music. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad at it. It, it kind of actually helps it spread because it be girls that be like, I don't know one of his songs. But they know who Dave is. But they be is. at the show, they be <laughs> buying merchandise. They, I mean, they, they into me still. And well, don't let's know play this, um, this French Montana joint. Maneuver. Yeah, shouts to Harry Fraud, man. That, that's yeah. that's New York City right there. 
And I and and it's so good to hear you talk about wanting to connect with these real producers because mm -hmm. there's a lot of rappers who miss that. They yeah. think it's just about their lyrics all the time, mm -hmm. and it's great to hear you going on that path. Honestly, with me, it's like I'm just going. On, I'm a student, you know what I mean? Like of the whole game. Like I I would still go back and listen to, to Nas' first album, Biggie' first album, Jay. I, I do that because I know my debut is coming, so I want to really see what time they was on when they came out first, you know what I mean? And a lot of them producers, I feel like I could just tell them how I'm feeling. I want to do a record about my daughter. I want to do a record about this. And them dudes I know can just do it. I know they could get right into that bag and do it. All my favorite music came from them, from Siegel to Jay to Nas. Like, them producers created that music, so I got to have them a part of what I'm doing. Let's go. Dave East is on Ebro in the morning. Let's get it. The new project, Paranoia, out right now. Make sure you get it. Harlem's uh, up here uh, holding it down and, and doing a great job. Dave, would you say um, you found your voice? Because I've noticed in this on this album, mm -hmm. you've gotten to a place vocally mm -hmm. where, you know, you're the type of artist that has a great sound on a record to mm -hmm. the point where you don't even rhyme. Sometimes I hear you and it's like mm -hmm. you're talking, you're not even mm -hmm. rapping. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that someone told you you would be able to do or is that a sound that you found for yourself? That was more like um, just me doing it a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I dropped my first mixtape 2010, you know what I mean? So it's, it's seven years in that I've been in the booth going hard, regardless of how familiar people got with it. I, me personally, I've been in the booth since 2010, nonstop going in. So I feel like I just didn't found different ways to um, get my point across, you know what I mean? And just different flows and I know what I could do real good. I know what I kind of ain't don't want to do, you know what I mean? Like just from doing it over time, so I feel like I done kind of mastered who I am, you know what I mean? Like, I done kind of mastered the sound that I want to put out, the New York sound, the, um, the, that fresh, just just something new. I feel like I done kind of, I know what I want, you know what I mean? Like, before I would just get on, I would make the beat. Now I'm real picky with beats, you know what I'm saying? Before I'd be like, oh, I, I, could, I could make that something. Now I'd be like, uh. I don't want to get on that. You know what I mean? But so you I'm do a lot more picky. To your point, though, Ebro, he has, your voice is a big part of it. And, like, we were talking about the other day, like, a lot of artists now, vo vocal quality, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, we'll put a little effect here, and it'll sound like what's going on. Mm -hmm. As long as it sounds like what's going on, the rest will, as long as it's a good song. Whereas you, your voice is part of the instrument. Mm -hmm. Like, you have a very distinctive voice, which uh, allows a record to, to be more. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me of, um, to a certain extent, Prodigy. In terms Rest of peace to P, man, I was me and P had two joints, so I'm tight. So tell, I mean, tell, of course that's whack, that you know what I mean. He, but um, yeah, me and P had some joints we was about to put out. We were just talking like, right before that. How long had you known him? At least four or five years. Scram Jones introduced us. And and you did you guys talk semi regularly or ask for advice? Yeah, we, or um, like he just was always salute. Like P was one of the older dudes. Like I salute him because uh, everybody don't be comfortable with giving a spot or giving up just a whole era. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people that from that era, some of the dudes that I feel like didn't really um, do all they wanted to do, they don't be wanting the young dudes to really come in and mm. take it over. You know what I'm saying? They don't be wanting to see that. He wasn't one of them dudes. Like, he really would salute everything I was doing. Every time he seen me, he wouldn't dap. It'd be a hug. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just was genuine love, and he, I knew he wasn't doing it just cause, you know what I mean? He ain't know me from nowhere. Like, and this, I'm talking about before the Nas signing, like, P was the same way. And then when I signed with Nas, he saluted it. So that was, um, that kind of, that kind of caught me by surprise. He, he dropped like that. And what happened to the records you did? They on ice. We still got them. Got two joints, two records. One he was gonna put on the project, and then I got one I was gonna use. So I'm gonna just try to figure out, same way I did like with Chinks. I'm just trying to figure out a way to, um, to present it to the people. I want to do it the right way because they're, right. they're not here no more. So it doesn't seem like you're just trying to... I want to just, oh, I got a Prodigy record. I'm, uh, I'm I like how you said that, right. though. A lot of people who didn't accomplish what they wanted to, whereas in the case of Prodigy, mm -hmm. I think he absolutely knows. He knew what Mob Deep was. Yeah. And he knows they absolutely got to the highest... Mm -hmm. Like, they they made it to the big extra money G-Unit signings. Mm -hmm. They made it everywhere. And then mm -hmm. he was happy to just go be him and Alchemist. He was chilling. And I feel like um, those be the dudes that... I feel like when you didn't, when you didn't put your time in... And you didn't you didn't got out of it what you want to get out of it. You don't have a problem saluting who coming up next. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have a problem paying homage to the younger. Like the game changes so quick. That's like me. I could never really hate on a younger guy. 
know what I mean? I'd be like, damn, they didn't, it wasn't hating on me. How could I hate on the next dude coming up? So I I, I really salute him. And Havoc too. Like I both of them, they both have a, a real genuine salute to what I'm doing. You named your project uh paranoia. Is that something that came with the bigger you got? Or is that something you've always battled with? Yeah, I've been felt that. That was it's more now, but I've been kind of um felt that. I've been was always kind of watching. Just like um just growing up, like I had like family members on drugs and stuff like that. You know and I mean, so like I can remember my dad telling me, yo, watch your aunt. You know what I'm saying? She come to the crib or watch your uncle. Like, so I kind of grew up not knowing, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't had close items of my own stolen from from aunts and uncles and you know what I'm saying? So from a kid, I was, all right, can't trust her, can't trust him. Then it got a little, I got a little older, got into the streets, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was playing ball. So that love was like this right now a little bit. It was like, I don't know who really, I don't know if they just being cool with me because they think I'm going to the league right, or, right, you know right. what I'm saying? And with it now, it's like everybody's cool, you know what I'm saying? And if if they not cool with me, they, um, they know how to front it and, and make it seem like they cool with me for a picture or, for a gram look, like, oh yeah, that's my man. And they really don't a like it. Gram look. A gram look. That's the gram look is a thing. The is. Gram look. No, a gram look is a thing, but to think that people actually have to finesse a, a, a gram look. You gotta yes. finesse a gram look. Like, <laughs> finesse it. I didn't see it. <laughs> so Yo, what, what's another record we should get to? Because the Wiz Khalifa shit is fire. Phone jumping shouts to Wiz. <laughs> Chris Brown. The Chris Brown record's fire. Perfect. The Nas, you know, Nas doing the intro on mm -hmm. the Hated. So which one you wanna play for off Paranoia? Uh, I ain't gonna front. You can get into they hate it. I like that joint. Let's go. Uh, Nas, Dave East right here. Dave East is right here. Ebro in the morning. Look, it's Hot 9-7 at Paranoia. Pick it up. Um, Dave East EP. Um, talk to me again why this is an EP versus album again. Remind me, because I get confused. Yeah. Honestly, with me, like, for the album, it's, it's, it's a few things that I, I want to put on my album that's not on Paranoia. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, I was saying with the producers I want to lock in with, but then I want to... um. I want Jay-Z and Nas on the same record. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the universe. So that's, that's, that's really one of them things that I feel like I can make happen. You know what I mean? But I don't want to rush it or You got a relationship it. with Hov? Yeah. I don't want to force it or rush it. So I want to make that. Like, that got to be perfect, damn near. Like, as far as whoever produce it. So that's something I'm kind of aiming for on the album. But just like I said, I want to lock in with these producers. Um, I want to work with Erica Badu. Like, there's a few people I, I haven't even really got to get with and sit down and talk. Don't with. look at Badu in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, the trend. that could like, happen. She's like Prince. <laughs> that's right. I'm not, you see, I'm not laughing. No, it's dead it's serious. I'm dead ass serious. Don't look in the eyes. All right. That's my <laughs> advice from my OG. Well, why? What's wrong with falling in love with Badu? So he'll, no, he'll, no, no, no. It's not the fall in love outfits. part. He'll start wearing corduroys. I'm going to flip. You gonna, it's not that. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> J Electronica, he's dope. Common's dope. It's dope individual. DOC, love DOC. Three yeah. stacks is dope. J three stacks, yeah. dope. They all, you know what I mean? It's love. Yeah. We love Erica. Yeah. I love Erica. I'm just saying. Don't look in the eye. Don't look in the eye. <laughs> it will get you. It get will you. get you. Um, speaking of uh, falling in love, um, you have done something that uh, I think people mm -hmm. need advice on. Mm -hmm. uh, while your life was in transition, you were becoming this sex symbol, uh, <laughs> all the women talking about you on the gram, mm -hmm. you have a baby. Yeah. In Kyrie. the middle of the, Kyrie came right in the middle of the, the storm. Right in the middle. And there's a woman, obviously, Kyrie's mother. Mm -hmm. um, you have maintained the air of being single. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. Um, being with your daughter and keeping everybody happy and calm, mm -hmm. While women around the world fiend for you, yeah. I'm not. There's no. There's what is it called in the in the comments? Clapbacks from women. No, no, no. Yeah, there's he's, no he's shade been pretty room, drama, drama. It be love, man. What's, I, ain't gonna, what's I create the, my own drama. Like if I don't create it, it don't be no drama. So, but what's the? How are you? What's your advice to um, young men and women everywhere to keep things chill? You know what really helped me out? Uh, I start making a little more money. I mean that kind of that kind of changed it. And what what is, but how does that help? It just it it money changes things. Money kind of um money make people you could be mad, very in your emotions, very irate, but money kind of calm it down a little bit. Like it just make you chill out, it make you think about what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And with me, it was like everything happened so fast. Like I'm I'm a great talker. I feel like that's why I can rap. I know how to talk. Like you know what I'm saying off the the mic and all. I can really kick it with you. And I feel like um, 
I just was at a point where it wasn't, it was going to be real poisonous in the crib. You know what I'm saying? With my newborn, all this that's coming at me, it, it just came so fast. And um, I really don't feel like me and her was, 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 was good for that moment. Maybe if I was already in the game, you know what I'm saying, for a while, and I was already, you know what I mean, maybe it would have worked, but it was too brand new. And in that situation, I feel like if the if your partner not as excited as you for what you about to be doing, it ain't, it's going to be a little hard. Our life was so different, but we created a beautiful baby girl. Like, I, I still thank her for that. Like, oh, good looking. You know what I mean? Like, Kyrie hair is beautiful. She's gorgeous. But um, as far as just the balancing it, man, people going to get mad. Like, you got to just understand that. Like you don't don't t don't get so emotional about certain stuff. I lashed out, you know what I mean, on Instagram about it, but that was just like built up. I was mad, you know what I mean. But as far as just how you dealing with people and trying to keep everybody cool, you gotta get to some money. Cause I feel like if I was dead broke, it'd be super static still. Like it'd be staticky. You know what I'm saying? Like well, just because it's harder to deliver as a father in that situation, and if you were out there trying to chase your dreams while mm -hmm. not making the money, mm -hmm. she'd be like, "Enough of this rapping yeah, bullshit." They, like you can't tell me nothing about the rap now. It's like, all right, the rap is paying shit. The right. rap is the rap is got me a little <laughs> comfortable. You know what I mean, like before yeah. that, why you in the studio? Like, no, don't ask me why I'm in the studio. This is why I'm in the studio. It's paying. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's making sure everybody cool and. Kyrie got everything she want, need, could think of. You know what I mean? So get to some money, man. The money will help everything. So it's the money. Money is the answer. <laughs> money help everything. Well, it can. Bro. Yeah, it certainly can. Because some people tell you money will be the worst thing. Nah, but it depends help. on the circumstance. Money help. Or if you can't get to the money in the, in the speed you would like, plan out. You got to plan. Like, I didn't plan my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I was just, oh, shit, you're pregnant. You know what I mean? Like, I, I ain't plan that. But it's the best thing ever happened to me still. But it wasn't a plan. Like, I didn't say I. Right. Let's have a child, you know what I mean? So I had to kind of just go with the flow once she got here. You know what I mean? Once she was born, I'm like, oh, all right, shit, I'm a dad. I got to, you know what I mean? I had to move. Step different. up. I, yeah, instantly. Like, I had to, I wasn't living in the Bronx. I had to instantly move. Like, I'm out of here. My daughter not going to see this block. You know what I mean? Um, We we were talking recently, you were, we were just talking in the room about how sometimes in, in the hood, there'll be a situation where, like, a really pretty girl just gets like attacked or hated on mm -hmm. simply because the girl's oh, really face pretty. get cut face will get cut yeah, whatever all that, all that. and and you uh, you really you think, think you're pretty bitch right mm -hmm. and you rarely think about that in reverse terms but i wonder i mean obviously your look has become a part of your thing mm -hmm. when you were growing up and you're a teenager around the way and all and girls think you're you know this guy mm -hmm. was there a thing of like fuck that you're the, the fuck the pretty boy blah 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 blah, blah. yeah i'm light skinned man so i had them problems my whole life with the with the with the darker dudes, the blacker dude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was like I'm tall. I always like I just didn't. I feel like I didn't glow it up a little bit. I got my little jewelry now. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I was way dustier before. Like when I was in the projects, I was a little little more dusty. So it wasn't the same reaction as you would think. With okay, women. You really? Know what I'm saying like it was a little different. I mean, I could still probably attract them, but it just wasn't. He was like, he's hood for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The and dust. So you were still attractive, but the dust covered it the a little. The dust covered it. Dinge. There was a there was a little dinge there. <laughs> but now I could I could I could do both. You know what I'm saying? I could look super hood, then I could go be with Drake and Nicki. And, you know what I'm saying? Like I could do both. So I feel like um, I watch my face, man. I'm sure somebody out there want to cut me or do something, make this a little little different. But I be I be like honestly, that come from. What I already know. Like, nothing gonna surprise me in rap on no street tip. You get what I'm saying? Like, it'll never be nothing in rap where I'll be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, if it's some street shit, I done already been through that. So, um, the shit that surprised me is being able to work with these A list people and these these top billboard artists. And, you know what I mean? Like, that's the shit that surprised me. None of the street shit ever going to have some shit. Me. Do you have some shit recorded with big names that we don't, haven't seen yet that we don't know is coming yet? Yeah, with Drizzy. Drizzy on the way, man. Drizzy got one. Well, that'll be one then. Mm hmm. Drake and Davies, you heard it here first. Let's get to a record. What about that Chris Brown joint? Perfect. Let's go. Well, that's an A-lister. I forgot that's about that. Yeah, yeah, that's on now. And that's on your project. <laughs> already out. Let's go, man. Davies on Ebro in the morning. Make sure you pick up Paranoia from Davies Harlem. You always talk about oh, New York this, New York that. Now you got an artist putting out some amazing records with amazing collabs and amazing producers. Harry Fraud on there. Who else on there? Thank you. Um, Harry Fraud's on there. 808 Mafia did the intro. Um... Of course, I got Buddha and Grands, the home team on this. Uh, I got a new kid, um, actually my boy producer, um, 
Jojo Beats. He did like four joints on the project. He he tough. He did They Hate It. Um, Wanna Be Me. Uh, he did like the, the the darker joints on there. You know what I mean? And a lot of features on there too. I wanna I wanna ask, um, as you become this, have you been getting the like sex symbol offers? Yeah, a lot. Everywhere the, the I go, take now. your shirt off. I'm be on the cover I'm of magazine. I'm surprised y'all ain't asked me to take my shirt off. Tyra Banks, I think. Tyra Banks was like, "Why well, not, you?" Not you. Like, Laura might ask. Tyra Banks was like, "Why?" Laura, go ahead. Laura, start again. I'm not gonna. I know. Go Dave, I'm not gonna ask him to take your shirt off. I'm fine. I'm fine. But Tyra Banks did was like, "Why is he rapping? You should be modeling." That shit spun me too. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I've been rapping. Like that's why I'm. How, rapping. Do you get the walk on the runway offer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did ain't gonna front. Have you we done been, that? Not yet. I did. Me and Fab. This Fab had a little, little put together oh, yeah, a little yeah. model walk with me, Cardi B, uh, Bernice. He had a couple people in it, but it wasn't like no official fashion week. Like I want to do that. Like I really want to see what that's like. I'm not against it. I just ain't gonna be butt naked or in no little tight drawers <laughs> on no billboard nowhere. Like, you ain't gonna see that. You ain't gonna see me, like, really... Big, you know, it big, doesn't seem like you even care that much about If it. Calvin know, Klein not. offered you, like, a brief ad, a you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm doing that. No, I'm no. talking about them little... What's the shit? <laughs> to exist, them little tight... Oh, yeah. Never. I'm not gonna be in no bus stop like that. But then, so what do you prefer at this stage? Are you having fun with the celebrity women, or do you still prefer a nice, regular, hard-working girl work for the MTA, round-the-way girl? I'm gonna well, keep what's it real the with you. E, my thing, like with me, is like I, I live by one like thing. Like there's, there's no picks, bro. Like I don't, I don't really. You know what I'm saying? You could be the had a number one movie out and be the number one actress, or you could be working at a Starbucks. Like if you bad and you real, I don't care. Like that don't really matter. The only thing I'm starting to see is with the with the more regular female, it'd be harder to deal with my lifestyle. You know what I mean? So like a woman that's in the industry or that's moving as much as I'm moving, they get it. You know what I'm saying? They, I ain't got to call them every day or checking every... I mean, like they kind of, oh, all right, you was busy, your album's out. Talk to me when this... You know what I mean? But a girl that just go to work nine to five, go home, go to work nine to five, come home, go to work nine to five. She really don't understand how I'm out all night, how I'm in L.A. Monday, Miami Tuesday, Philly third. I mean, like, it, it's it's like, why? It comes a frustration it for get, It get tight. And, and you can't say you're not fucking. You can't be like, why well, ain't fucking nothing? I ain't, I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, right. You everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You got to be doing something. So it just make it a little harder to um to be sincere. Like, you really can't. Anything I'm saying is like, ah, whatever. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to stick to shit I be saying because I be on the go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to really plan something out to really do something with somebody. But besides that, I'll be on the go. What are you listening to right now? And we're going to get to this Wiz Khalifa before we let you out of here. Other than yeah. your own album, did you like what Hov put together? Yeah, Hov was dope. Hov album was dope. I like, I like Jay rapping. Like, I like that more than the, um, no disrespect, but I like that more than, like, the Watch the Throne. and the, Like, I like Jay on them soulful. That's what I grew up on, yeah. that Jay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that album is super hard. What about uh, Kendrick? Where are you at? Are you a Kendrick fan? Super. He one of my him and J Cole are both two of my favorite artists that I haven't spoken to yet. I haven't even spoken. No to. relationship, never met him. Never spoke. Me and Schoolboy cool. Me and um Ab Soul super cool. Me and him kick it. But I haven't um me and Kendrick never sat down. Me and J Cole never sat down. And I want to work with both of them. Or let's get to this Wiz Khalifa joint. Anything we left out before? You know, this is our first conversation with Davies. Is We've it really? Watched him. We've yeah. watched no, him. No, he's been, but he's been w way more quiet. Like, this is, I'm like, wow, Dave is like on the road. Quiet. He's good. The first time you came, <laughs> you were so quiet. We were like, all right. But yeah. this is his first time I've been on Ebro no. on this show. He's been on my show. This is it's my first time. Yeah, I've really? never. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, we smoked blunts. Here, I think we I smoked blunts backstage yeah. at concerts, us. but that's yeah, about yeah. it. That's yeah. about it. You know, uh, Kendrick's in town this week. Y'all should chop oh, it up. Yeah. Put it together, man. Boy, I'm boy, to boy hot. I like Kendrick. Yo, you, uh, one of the most overlooked uh, records on your last, that Kyrie Chanel was at joint with you and Game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tough. Bad Bro. Boy on, bad Boy on Death Row. That was a sleeper. I feel like... Kyrie, that, whole, that whole project was a bit... I mean, don't get me wrong. People appreciated it. But I remember yeah. when Ebro first came in, it was like, yo, did you hear Dave's project? And... It was that you could have been called an album mm -hmm. album. Like, that was a complete they project. They had records on there, that bro. That had some joints. You got robbed by a girl before? Speaking of, the girl robbed you. <laughs> no, that wasn't. That was, uh... That's not your story. <laughs> Fantasy, bro. <laughs> you I took mean, a rig up to the room, fell asleep. You've had you've had situation with your aunts. Yeah, I ain't, um... The girl, she, just Ke you Keisha can tell was, me, Keisha, bro. Keisha was a little, uh... Keisha robbed you, bro. It happens, <laughs> man. 
Keisha you, you, robbed you, them. You, I'm good, man. Good, man. <laughs> no, that's a new one. Keisha took the other Keisha one, man. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha took the other one. I got to protect, man. I'm good. Keisha ain't getting me. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up, Davies. Davies. Paranoia. Yeah, no, Paranoia. Pick that up. That.